RAF typhoons are rarely out of the news thanks to the contribution they're making to the campaign over Libya at the moment. The aircraft is a collaboration between the UK, Germany, Italy and Spain, with the British version costing an average £126 million apiece. Will Inglis has been granted rare access to the factory where each aircraft is born and to the test pilot charged with proving that each represents value for money. There's no getting away from the fact that Typhoon is an exceptional aircraft. Here it wows the crowds at the recent Royal International Air Tattoo. At the controls is one of the test pilots charged with signing off each new airframe. Oh, I mean, it's every boy's dream, isn't it, to mostly fly a brand new, uh, brand new toy, and uh, and as such, you know, it never fails to disappoint. I mean, there's so much performance in this aircraft that you you do end up pretty much with a bit of a grin every time you go flying. It's made of BAE Systems Wharton, historic birthplace of other legendary aircraft types. Each spends more than six months in this hangar before it takes to the skies for the first time. Components are manufactured all over Europe and delivered here, where a finely honed system is set in train. We've developed the teams from the Tranche 1 manufacturing process, and them teams have been developed on into this Tranche in the current Tranche 2 phase now. Uh, the, the teams split down into four teams, which again split down into subgroups. Uh, them, them teams are highly trained, um, highly educated on the aircraft and follow the aircraft through its individual stages. Um, it's not one you know, operator building every aircraft, they work in set teams. Gone are the days of hammers and rivets. Everything here, such as this laser assembly jig, is high precision. And a new aircraft leaves this building every fortnight. From my own experience, um, the days of operating with Harriers down at uh, Kingston and latterly beyond that at uh, Dunsfold, it was this very much a handcrafted uh, approach. And as aircraft came back into the hangar, you could almost see the little pot marks and uh, the pulled rivets and what have you as, as how various uh, uh, craftsmen have had to, to deal with, uh, as, as it says, handcrafting those, air, those aircraft. Something as complex as the aircraft behind me, the Typhoon, um, if you look at some of the facilities here, we're down to sort of micrometer, sub-millimeter levels of, uh, of accuracy. BAE's job isn't done when the aircraft flies out of Wharton for the last time, though. The firm is contracted to make a set number of typhoons available to the RAF at any one time. That means the contractors went on a war footing for Libya at the same time as the squadrons they support. There's nothing quite like the real thing. And I would have to say, when we got the call on the Friday the 18th of March, uh, a whole bundle of people went 24-7 over that entire weekend. Um, we, uh, we managed to get uh, about 100 people in that weekend, uh, supporting ev every inch of planning that needed to be done, including, most significantly, getting um, 10 typhoons prepared to, to deploy and actually making sure that the primary equipment pack was up to 100% full. More than 100 typhoons have been delivered so far of the total UK order of 160. The last should enter service in 2015. Will Inglis, Forces News.